changed the customs that Moses handed down to us. We looked intently at him and saw that his face was like the face of an angel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Though princes meet and talk against me, your servant meditates on your statutes. Yes, your decrees are my delight. They are my counselors. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. I declared my ways and you answered me. Teach me your statutes. Make me understand the way of your precepts, and I will meditate on your wondrous deeds. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Remove from me the way of falsehood, and favor me with your law. The way of truth I have chosen. I have set your ordinances before me. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. We honor the Holy Gospel. One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. After Jesus had fed 5,000 men, his disciples saw him walking on the sea. The next day, the crowd that remained across the sea saw that there had been only one boat there, and that Jesus had not gone along with his disciples in the boat, but only his disciples had left. Other boats came from Tiberias near the place where they had eaten the bread when the Lord gave thanks. When the crowd saw that neither Jesus nor his disciples were there, they themselves got into boats and came to Capernaum looking for Jesus. And when they found him across the sea, they said to him, Rabbi, when did you get here? Jesus answered them and said, Amen, amen, I say to you, you are looking for me not because you saw signs, but because you ate the loaves and were filled. Do not work for food that perishes, but for the food that endures for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. For on him the Father God has set his seal. So they said to him, What can we do to accomplish the works of God? Jesus answered and said to them, This is the work of God, that you believe in the one he sent. My dear friends, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good evening po sa inyong lahat. After Jesus fed the 5,000, Jesus and his disciple, disciple left them. And then the people started looking for him, for him. And when they saw Jesus Christ, Jesus asked them, Why are you looking for me? And it seems that Jesus said that they were looking only for the food that they have experienced. In other words, the people only believe Jesus Christ because he could provide food for them. And our Lord emphasized to them that they should rather be concerned about spiritual food and not the worldly food. My dear brothers and sisters, this is a reminder to all of us that we should not be too concerned about worldly things. Because in reality, worldly things will only give us more trouble. In, in fact, if we concentrate ourselves on money matters, even if we concern ourselves with worldly things, they give us more anxiety and trouble. That's why our Lord is emphasizing that if you want peace of mind, 
if you want to have a more uh, good relationship with the Lord, be spiritual. Try to think about heavenly things and you will certainly have more peaceful life. Mga kasiguro po tayo na less stressful if we focus more on spiritual and heavenly things. So this is a great reminder for all of us once again, my dear friends, that we do not only go to Jesus because we are constantly in need of worldly things, but we go to Jesus because we want more to be inspired by His words and His examples. In this Mass, we ask the good Lord always for His mercy and blessing. Only God the Father can satisfy the hunger of the heart and of the spirit. So we bring our knees before him, we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may awaken in her members a hunger and thirst for the bread of eternal life. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. That we may realize that the longings of the heart cannot be satisfied by the pursuit of worldly success or material comfort. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer, that those who spend their time uselessly searching for joy and happiness in the wrong way may find the right direction in life. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that the sick may receive comfort and attention from those who care for them. We pray, Lord, Lord hear our prayer, that Ihara Banyas and those who have died may be united with Christ in the new life of the resurrection. We pray, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. In silence, let us pray for our other intentions. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Almighty Father, you have given us the bread from heaven as food for our pilgrim journey. Guide our steps in the way of justice and peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Come to me and drink. Come to me and drink, O let all who are thirsty, come to me and drink, I will put my spirit within you, and you shall live and know that I am the Brothers, sisters, our sacrifice may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love through Christ our Lord. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times, to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to love you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the Lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers and angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. we celebrate the memorial of each death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and we praise and glorify you for your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us now. Now pray with confidence of the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. 
that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to our apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to His Supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. So 
gana kagala ka walang hanggang ipamamana Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life and the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament, and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oh, thanks. 
St. Arnold Johnson's poem prayer to the Spirit. O Holy Spirit, animate us. Spirit of the Father, enliven us. Spirit of the Son, redeem us. Eternal love, penetrate us. With your fire, inflame us. With your grace, enlighten us. Living font, refresh us. From our sins, purify us. With your sweet anointing, strengthen us. Divine Consoler, sanctify us. By your grace, support us. Through your angels, guard us. With your grace, abide in us. God, Holy Spirit, hear us. By your light, direct us. Your virtues, infuse in us. With your gifts, strengthen us. With your fruits, refresh us. From the evil enemy, defend us. For our last struggle, fortify us. In the hour of death, sustain us. O call us then to come to you, that with your saints triumphantly we praise the Father, Son, and you, benign Consoler, eternally. Amen. In the power and inspiration of the Holy Spirit, let us present to God our needs, prayers, and intentions. Prayer for the Spirit, Lord Jesus Christ. We adore you as the Son of God, and through the prayer of your dear Mother, we ask you to send us from the fullness of your loving heart the grace of the Holy Spirit to enlighten our ignorance, purify and make holy our sinful hearts, and keep us firm in his holy love. These we ask of you through the love of the Father and the Holy Spirit, through the abundance of your limitless compassion, and through the prayers of all your saints. Amen.
even than bread from heaven, containing in itself all sweetness. Let us pray. O God, in this wonderful sacrament, you have left us a memorial of your passion. Grant us, we pray, so to venerate the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that we may ever feel within us the fruit of your redemption, to live and rule world without end. Amen. Blessed be God. Blessed, Blessed be his, his holy name. Blessed, Blessed be Jesus Christ, Christ, true God and true man. Blessed, Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Comforter. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Thanksgiving, peace. 